Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we will be looking at how the launcher and the apps work on a Chromebook, a Chromebox, or a Slate. It's not perfect, if I'm being honest with you. It's much worse on a Pixel Slate, um, and I can only imagine that would be the same. I've not tried it on a hybrid Chromebook in tablet mode, but I'm sure it's the same. It's not as bad on a Chromebook using a mouse, but it's to show you how you can try and make your apps sort them out a bit more because the more apps you install it can become a bit of a mess so i'll show you how you can do that but i'll also show you why it can be quite fiddly and frustrating at times so first of all you would if you like the video by the way please like and subscribe to the channel because it's the only way i will get this video seen by others okay so first of all if you go to the launcher at the bottom and left click or click with your um, finger if you're using a, a tablet and then click up here like so uh, let me minimize that sorry just pull that to there let's do it again now here are all of your apps now if you use it in tablet mode these apps show up on the desktop so you don't need to go to the launcher and as you can see apps are all over the place got some gaps there Got a few here, got a few here, got just two there, and I've got these here. Um, now, what you'll also see is that I've already grouped apps together, and that's what I'm gonna show you in this video, how to group them, but I'm also gonna show you the, the frustrations of this, how this page works, this screen works, it, it's quite frustrating. Um, so even though I've done this previously, you can quite happily say, or I can quite happily say, this is still a mess because of all of this. Now, what would have been really nice to see, for example, if you could right click and there'd be an auto sort. So it gets rid of all these unnecessary gaps. It's just highly frustrating. Sure, you can click on there to get to the ones and you can see how many pages of apps you've got open, which is great. But getting these, so that's the first page here. So first of all, I'll show you how that's them two there so we've got these here we want to fill up this gap here there's no quick way to do it it's it's essentially you're having to grab that push it up and go like that now that's much easier done using a chrome box it's still relatively okay to do on a tablet you just need to hold down and push up if you're doing it on a chrome box like i am you just need to hold down your left mouse button and you just put them up like that but it's a bit of a mess about having to do this is a bit of a joke, really, when you consider Chrome, don't get wrong, I absolutely adore Chrome OS, but they could at least do something about this because it is, it's just a pain. It's just like having to do this. And the thing is, it's, it's just how random it puts these apps when you install them. It doesn't seem to put them in order for some reason, because if it did, we wouldn't be having this problem. So first of all, what you would have to do, you would have to do that first, which you can see is really time consuming. Um, but then what I really wanted to show you, sorry, is how you can group them. So what I've done is we've, I've got here a group and that is called Google. And that's what I've done there is I've mainly put in Google products in that group. And I've got their graphics, for example, streaming services and it makes it much easier to find apps that way rather than going oh where is that because you do become blind to what's in front of you when you've just got apps all over the place it can be very hard to see what you're looking for so i'll show you first of all i'll show you how fiddly it can be and this is even more fiddly on a chrome um, tablet so just for an example say if i wanted to group this here with this here hold it down, move it over, and it's gone. And it's like, well, I didn't want to group it with what YouTube music, I wanted to group it with that. Go back down, it's gone. See, it's like a little game, it's even worse on a Chrome OS tablet. It's like you're having to play a game, and it's like, well, what on earth do you do? So you have to then go, well, I'd have to move that up there, and put it there, and then move that into there. And then there you go. So that can be quite fiddly, so do bear in mind, 
don't want to group them. But do bear in mind that's one thing you will have to overcome. So it's it's usually when they're on the edge there and they're they're auto moving before you've got chance to get them on. Sometimes like that, look, you've got it and you could be fine and let it go. So what I'm going to do is, and I thought I already had games um, grouped. I think that might be on um, my tablet or my Chromebook. So just very quickly, what we could do is look for games. So we've got Pac-Man there and we've got War Robots there. So if you try to add Pac-Man to that, maybe it will work all okay. Yeah, and then just drag it over and let go. And there you go, you've got a group of two. And then, sorry, it's still not perfect. I didn't want to launch that. So you've got a group of two. And then see if we can find another game. World of Tanks here. So hold that down, drag it up, just so you go up the page. You have to push up like that. So you're going up the page, you want to go down the one page. There it is, and hold it over the group and let go. And then once you've got the group, what I tend to do is try and move all the groups up to the top page, like here. So essentially what I need to do is to get my Chromebox in great um, order by getting all of these apps in groups like this. And it does make it much easier. The only problem is you do, you do have to constantly do that. That's the only thing, because when you add new apps, they do just seem to appear anywhere. I don't really understand the logic behind it. You'd think they'd just find the next space. Rather bizarre. Maybe that's what it is, and it's when I've been removing apps, but then you'd still expect it to sort. I don't understand why there's no sort option. So we've made this group. You want to name it. So if you click on the group and then click here and just simply call it games, you don't, and then you don't need to press return. You just then let go, and that's fine. You don't necessarily just have to have one group of games. You could have, I don't know, you could have puzzle games, or and then you could have, you know, war games, whatever games you're into. But that does make it much easier doing it like that. And you can see I've done it here. I do it with things like graphics and stuff like that. So I hope this video has helped. It was one to show you how to try and make your apps a bit um, better than they are. Sorry if you can hear that. That's my dog in the background. Um, so um, one thing is to try and make you um, see, sorry, he's put me off. He's totally took me off what I was saying. So I hope that has helped you uh, realize how you can make your apps a bit um, clearer on your on your um, Chromebook or Chromebooks. It's not perfect, and as I says, if you do come across that issue, like you might do, like that's fine there. But if you do that. That's fine there. See, it's very hit and miss whether it's going to cause you problems or not. That's the frustration with it. So sometimes it's fine, sometimes it's not. So yes, if it did, if you do like the video, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Okay, thanks for watching.